y'all, it's Tiffany with Thrifty Tiffany and I am back with the cook with me. And today we're gonna be making some homemade chicken pot pie because one, it's cold, well not freezing, but it's around 64 degrees today. It's cold, wet and rainy outside. And I said, you know what? What better way to celebrate this than to cook something warm? And so I'm making some homemade chicken pot pie. Um, yeah, so if you're new, I hope you stay and subscribe and hit that bell button so you're notified every time that I upload. And thank you so much for all my current subscribers for clicking on this video again. I love you and appreciate the support. And yeah, we're gonna get into this chicken pot pie and I hope you guys love this cook with me. And that is the oven, I preheated it to 350. So go ahead and get your oven preheated to 350. We got our pan heating up. And we're gonna add some good old olive oil in here. getting foggy right there I guess because of the fire and then we are gonna go ahead and start chopping some of these we need to chop our carrots onions potato everything basically chop all of these um, so I got and everything is from Aldi so I got just two breasts I'm gonna end up cooking actually in the air fryer or you can saute it actually you know what I might saute it so we're gonna actually cook the chicken first in here so it's just two big breasts and we'll shred it later I got one can of corn. You can do frozen corn, canned corn, fresh corn, whatever whatever you have on hand. So I just got some uh, sweet corn and some chicken broth and you can use cubes um, if you want. And then we got frozen peas, carrots, and I'm gonna chop those up, celery, onion, and two, these are large, two very large potatoes. And we will get started. I'll need some more ingredients. This is just the main ingredient. I'm just gonna put a little bit of olive oil on top. And then we're gonna just salt and pepper them. We got our salt here. Okay. And then our pepper. Just gonna sear them really good on both sides and let them cook all the way through. Pepper comes out so fast. This pepper from the Dollar Tree right here comes out so fast, but I won't put any on the other side because that did put a lot on there. I'm just gonna peel our potatoes. I'm gonna cut our onion. Got my little pile of trash here. I got my little onion. I need to get, I mean, my little knife. I need to get my big knife much easier. It doesn't have to be exact chops. It could be a rough chop. Because you're going to cook it down. I'm going to have to move all my trash to my little trash bucket over here. <laughs> Did y'all see all that drop? I'll pick it up. I will pick it up. All right, then we're gonna go ahead and chop up our two potatoes that we peeled. I don't want little squares, so I cut it in half, then cut the halves in half. Cut in half, and then cut the halves in half. Cut it down. Do two separate sides, and then again, you cut that one in half, and then it, that one in half. So, basically, in force, you do want to kind of separate these because the cooking the onions cook a lot faster than the potatoes. Again, you could get canned tomatoes, you don't have to use fresh. You, Honestly, however, depends on how busy I am, what I decide to do. I kind of make um, chicken pot pie different every time. So sometimes I use mixed frozen vegetables. Oh my goodness gracious, Aldi didn't have them. So I'm just dropping stuff everywhere. All right, so you just chop them like that in the little squares. Wait, this one, did I cut that one? Put our celery, move all my stuff out the way. 
this whatever size. I like celery a little bit smaller. Yep, someone's falling on the floor, but it's okay. So I got two celery sticks that should be plenty, unless you just love celery. All right, now we're gonna start with some carrots. Flipping the chicken around. Let me show you what it looks like. I'm going to cut some carrots. I already have baby carrots. So that's what I'm going to cook. I was going to cut it in half, but I don't think so. I'm just going to slice them. Not too thick. Um, and these were 99 cents. So that's why I grabbed the baby carrots instead of the regular size carrots. I just said, you know what? It's 99 cents. I'm just going to grab it. And they're easy to make little coin, uh, carrot coins. My carrot coins. Just watch your fingers. So I'm going to chop these up and then we'll be done with the chopping. Our canned corn and just drain it. And we have all of our veggies chopped. Right. Okay, y'all, so I got this pie crust from Aldi. Um, sometimes I make a cornbread crust, but I was in the mood for a pie crust. So I got these, which is just like the Pillsbury, you get two separate crusts in there. So I'm gonna put it in my, oops. So I'm gonna put it in my dish. I have this dish that I'm gonna use for the pot pie. It's just a white, um, I don't even know the brand of this, but it's just a white dish for the oven. So I know it's not a pot necessarily, a pie pan, but I, we have a lot of filling. So I'm gonna get that to fill in there. So I'm gonna check on the chicken. It's looking pretty darn good, all right? And we're gonna put this pie crust in our pan. And I do, I'm gonna have to move the oven to, up to 425. So I was just getting it started on 350 but it will need to go to 425. I will post the recipe in the description box, but y'all, I go by recipes. I, I like kind of go by recipes, not really. So I'm just gonna put this in this pan and hope that it fits. I'm sure it'll fit in some form. It doesn't have to come up all the way on the sides. I have the top, the top one I can use for around it. And you can kind of stretch this a little bit. Um, Actually, might need to spray the pan. It actually looks like it's fitting pretty well. I probably should have sprayed the pan first. Okay. It's looking wonderful. I'm just gonna push that into the pot to fit it right. You guys can see what I'm doing. It doesn't have to fit exact, it doesn't have to be a circle. I'm just going to fill this baby up. She fits literally perfect in there. And I have the other one that I can go up on the sides to and make a design on the top, however I want to, to make it. But that, I got that ready. I'm going to put that over here. And then we're going to finish off our chicken. Then we have to start browning these in the same pan that we had cooked our chicken in. Okay, y'all. So we're going to take our chicken out of the pot. I think it's about done. That looks pretty good. Look at that. Get a nice little crisp on the outside. And then, look at that. Then we're gonna not clean that out. We're gonna use all the drippings from the chicken. And we're also gonna add some butter. You want to use butter for sure. I'm going to start with about three tablespoons. We're going to cook our, this is three tablespoons, and it's but salted butter. Put that in there, and then we're going to start cooking our hard vegetables, which are carrots. 
Actually, we're going to start with all of them, but carrots and celery. So I like those cooked down. And our potatoes and onions, all of these. And then we'll add peas and corn last. And I love to make a huge mess, obviously. <laughs> Now we're just going to make sure you keep mixing up the um, vegetables. I have mine on about a medium. And now we're going to add salt and pepper. Just add some good old salt and pepper. Make sure you season all the vegetables. Pepper. And we're actually going to put some... Um, Parsley. Parsley goes really good in um, pot pie. All right, and then we're gonna let these cook. items in there. We're gonna let this cook more, and then we'll add our corn and peas right there. We're gonna let this cook. Let it saute, and all the chicken juices from cooking the chicken. This is what the chicken's looking like, and I'm going to shred that here shortly. Okay, y'all, now it's time to get a glass of wine while we're waiting. Okay, y'all. So tonight, we're going to have some Pacific fruit vineyards. I got this from Aldi as well. Had some last night, just a little bit. So I got a little beautiful Dollar Tree glass. But y'all, this stuff is amazing. So, so good. Grab you a glass also. Let's have some, some wine together and cook some dinner. This is so good, y'all. Time to add some sweet peas. Oh, that was a lot, about half of that bag. I'm gonna do about half this can of corn because my potatoes is cut down. I did a lot of peas. Oh, will be a nice little peas in here. You don't want the potatoes to be smushy, so um, you want them to still have their shape. That's looking good. I'll turn around and show she you. She is looking like so good. We're going to season her again just to make sure she's good and seasoned. Now for this, I'm going to add a little bit of poultry seasoning. Which, see, it goes really good. Just a little bit, not too much. A little bit of poultry. Then we're going to add a little bit of garlic powder. And sprinkle, sprinkle. <laughs> and then we're going to add some onion powder. Then we're going to add some, if you like a little kick to yours, not too hot, but a little bit of crushed red pepper. Just adds it a little bit. I have pepper in there, but. And most of these spices from Dollar Tree. And now, in just a minute, I'm going to shred up the chicken, put it in here. And then we'll start add, making the sauce. we got to add flour to this. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to add some flour. Usually, if it's three tablespoons of butter, add three tablespoons of flour, and I'm guessing this. This is like in a, a third cup right here, so I'm just guesstimating because you want it, this to be able to thicken up when you add the broth and the milk. So, I'm going to stir this up. Let it cook the flour down some. Okay. And then we'll start adding the sauce to the chicken. Added it to this. I have not added any liquid yet. I just let the flour cook down, just chopped up the chicken. Now we're gonna mix that all together. And I kinda need to hurry because I don't want my potatoes starting to smush. All right, so I'm gonna mix and then start adding liquid. Actually, we'll go ahead and just add some liquid. There's probably some measurements, but I'm just gonna add, got some chicken broth here. You know me, I just add some and then hope for the best. <laughs> Now we're gonna add some milk. You definitely want milk in there. And this is the milk that I get from Dollar Tree. Love this stuff. Comes in handy, especially with cooking. 
And now we're gonna so mix. This is what it's looking like. I taste test it. It tastes amazing. Now I have added a couple more splashes of chicken broth and milk. You do it until you get a consistency that you like. Um, but again, I will put a recipe that has exact measurements. I'm just kind of, I whim it. I just go off of a whim. That's how I am. <laughs> and that's how usually I come up with really good dishes, but it ends up turning out really well. And this tastes so good. Some of the ingredients that you have seen me use was not in the recipe, but if you want to go directly by the recipe, definitely check that link out. Otherwise, um, yeah, just play with it a little bit. So I have my pastry here. I have the other pastry there that's gonna go on top. And I'm gonna put this in there and just one I'm about to pour the, all of this stuff inside of here. This is, and it said, do not grease the pan. So I'm glad that I didn't. And go. Had to get warm from sitting on the stove. So now I'm gonna pour in this mixture. It's gonna be a lot. So let me go ahead and turn that off. And then I put the oven down. I'm just going back and forth from 4 to 425. Um, 425 seems a lot, but it does have to cook. This is what it looks like. It does have to cook everything. Oh, yes. And now we're going to put the other pastry on the top. Hold on. Let me scoop this out. Got to get all of them bits. All of them. And it, it could be a little runny right now, but it'll thicken up as it cooks. I like mine like this. Woo, y'all, I am so in the mood for chicken pot pie right now. This looks beautiful. She is a beauty. All right, got all that out. And here, I'm gonna put this top piece on right here. And she looks beautiful. I, let me turn this around so you can see just how pretty she is. Look at her. Look at all the seasonings, the spices. And now we're gonna add this beauty right here to the top. It's okay if it cracks on the side like that. We can fix her. But I'm gonna put her together now. All right, and I'm just gonna go around the edges. I might like just, not really a design in mind. I want it to look, you know, homemade. It doesn't have to be anything perfect, but I love the crush. Ooh, the sauce went up on that. And then you can like poke a little, um, make a little line at the top. Like for this part at the top, let me wipe my hands off. I'm gonna get a knife and rinse it off. I'm telling y'all, when I tasted that, it was amazing. Now I'm just gonna put like a little X in the middle. X marks the spot. Actually, I might go a little bigger with it because it's a big pie. And now we are gonna put her in the oven. Look at that beauty. We're gonna put it in the oven right now and start watching her. Okay, y'all, so I just pulled the pot pie out. It does get brown around the edges, but that turns out to be yummy, yum stuff. And look at all of this juice from the inside coming out. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I'm gonna cut it up and plate it up. Look, it's still so hot. I literally just pull, pulled it out of the oven. So we're gonna plate some up and see what it looks like. I'm gonna let it cool though for a little bit. Let it like cool off. I'm gonna take some butter. I'm gonna rub it on the top. You know, just, just to I have it open. Oh, no I didn't. I was like, what is going on? Like this, I'll put some butter on it. Just to make the, the top really pretty and shiny and taste a little good. I mean, I'll show you when I plate okay, y'all, so it turned out amazing. This is what it looks like when I cut it. We've already ate half of it. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. It's amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please check out my Instagram, taste.of.tiffany, so you can see my pictures. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye, everyone.